Most people know just how cool chameleon tongues are. They're the ones that shoot out, grab their foot, and bring it back in. They can go crazy fast and crazy far. But what do you do when your chameleon is having issues with their tongue? Have no fear, Neptune's mom is here. I'll be going over some things you can do to avoid tongue injuries and hopefully correct them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What do tongue issues look like? How do you know if your chameleon's tongue isn't working like it's supposed to? If the chameleon's tongue is not shooting out all the way, if they're only reaching, you know, a couple inches versus further out, that could be a sign of tongue issues. If they're shooting crooked or if they're missing their food, chameleons are very, very accurate. That's the whole point of why they have this super sharp tongue is to be able to pinpoint that bug, lock in on it with their eyes and grab it. So if your chameleon is missing their food, especially multiple times, that means that there's something going on either with their eyes or their tongue. Something's not right though. If your chameleon is not able to shoot from far away, that would be a sign. And if your chameleon's tongue is unable to retract or go back into their mouth, if it's just kind of like hanging out, that would obviously <laughs> be not good and a sign of a tongue issue. So what causes tongue issues? So sometimes it's because of an injury. Maybe they, you know, whacked it on something that's hard um, or it got stuck on a branch or got stuck on feeding tongs. A common mistake I see is people will try to feed their chameleon with feeding tongs. The tongue will get stuck to the tongs and then the person will pull back. That's kind of instinct for us is like, ah, you freak out, you know, you pull back. Well, your chameleon's tongue is attached to that and when you pull back, you pull their tongue. And I've seen it as bad as someone's ripped the tongue off of the bone because there's the bone that is attached in the mouth and then there's like the fleshy part of the tongue and then the little sticky end that grabs the bugs. So people can actually rip off the tongue, which would be <laughs> very bad. Um, or you can strain it. You basically pull it. Um, and so the tongue is unable to retract and then it ends up just kind of dangling. In that instance, the tongue is most likely amputated. A chameleon can live without a tongue, but obviously we want to avoid that. So I would discourage you from tongue feeding instead, try cup feeding or hand feeding for a chameleon. Hand feeding still has the risk of you pulling back. So not my preferred method. I prefer cup feeding. That seems to be the safest option. Hornworms or other bugs can cause injuries. So any bug that has the ability to bite, which is typically, I've seen hornworms and superworms bite chameleons. Some people have been with like crickets biting them, but not usually with their tongue. Um, so biting could be an issue, but also hornworms have a death grip. Hornworm, they can hold on so tight to things. So I've had like a hornworm on a long sleeve shirt and they gripped onto it and Neptune got the worm and then it had a hard time pulling it back because the hornworm was like, no, I'm not letting go. And so then that could have caused injury to Neptune, luckily it didn't. Um, or a hornworm on a branch will grip super, super tightly. So the cup feeding again is nice because it's a, a plastic cup um, or whatever you end up using and the hornworm can't grip to it. So it's unlikely that they would get stuck and then your chameleon's tongue would have issues. So just keep that in mind if you're free ranging bugs inside of your enclosure that that could be a potential cause. Also cohabbing chameleons are meant to be kept separately. Sometimes though people will raise baby chameleons together or in a pet shop, they'll keep them together due to limited space. But you as a chameleon keeper should really strive to have your chameleons in separate enclosures and recognize that cohabbing can cause a plethora of issues, including tongue issues. Say both, you know, chameleons go for a bug at the same time, then their tongues get intertwined or there's just, you know, other issues that can occur. So we want to avoid that. So those are kind of like environmental situational things, but improper care can also cause tongue issues. Metabolic bone disease has a wide variety of symptoms. Most commonly we see, you know, curved bones. And if the mouth is starting to curve because the body's not getting enough calcium, so the body is pulling calcium from the bones, then that can cause the tongue to not shoot out correctly because the mouth is becoming deformed. So metabolic bone disease is typically caused by improper UVB and improper supplements. So those are things we wanna make sure are absolutely Perfect. There's no cutting corners when it comes to your UVB and supplements. And lucky for you, I've made videos on both those topics. So feel free to check those out. Additionally, tongue issues can be the result of lack of vitamin A. So a vitamin A deficiency, but those are also helped out 
fixed, resolved, whatever word you want to use, with your supplements. So if you're using a multivitamin that has preformed vitamin A in it, then your kinin will be getting what it needs in order to have healthy eyes and healthy tongues. Because remember, tongue issues could be because their eyes are not working properly. So make sure that you are regularly using a multivitamin. The current recommendation for a panther and veil chameleon is two times a month, and for a Jackson chameleon, it's one times a month, once a month, there we go, once a month, and making sure that your multivitamin has that preformed vitamin A. And like I briefly mentioned, eye issues could cause tongue issues. I mean, they have to see to be able to shoot correctly, and eye issues are also usually the result of improper UVB and supplementation. So please ensure that you do have the correct long UVB bulb and the correct supplement schedule that you're sticking to regularly. So how do you fix tongue issues? First things first, go to an experienced reptile vet, especially if the tongue's hanging out and there's a potential need for amputation. An experienced reptile vet is the best way to go. If you don't have a vet in your area or maybe budget doesn't allow for it or you know other circumstances, then you can try and correct your UVB and supplementation and hope that that improves. But if there are serious injuries, like there's no way around it, you need to go to a reptile vet. If you're not seeing improvements with your husbandry, improve, like changes and stuff like that, then again, you would want to go to a vet. If it's just like a minor injury or, you know, like they just kind of like banged it on something or whatever else, then you may just be able to assist feed and then you just kind of offer them a cup that's in close range so they're not having to strain to get the bug. Um, that could help and then maybe just give them some time to see if that resolved. That's for like minor injuries. I think they can kind of just like heal on their own, but um, otherwise you would want to go to a vet. And worst case scenario, the way you would resolve a tongue injury if it's totally hanging out of their mouth would be an amputation. And like I mentioned earlier, chameleons can live without their tongues. You would just have to assist feed, again, bringing in that cup nice and close. So then they can just kind of bite the bug versus shooting out their tongue. So you guys have it. Those are some things you can do to prevent tongue issues, correct tongue issues. And I really hope you're not having to watch this video because your chameleon is having tongue issues, but I'm mindful of the fact that that is part of chameleon care and you know something that keepers will come across. So hopefully this was helpful and I hope things work out with your chameleon and their tongue. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so when I post a new video. Follow Neptune and all my chameleons on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! ...is working nice and healthily. Let's just, okay. As always, you can, you can what?